Today we will make easy meatball pasta bake. Succulent meatballs and tender pasta blended together and baked in the oven for a complete and scrumptious meal. And I will show you how easy it is because everything will prepare inside this lovely tray, okay? So, I have everything here. I have my ground chicken, but if you want, you can use some beef instead, if you like. I have my pasta and let's start. I have my spaghetti here and you can use any kind of pasta you like. I will cut them in half. And as you can see, I have lovely spaghetti into my tray. The first thing that I'm about to do is to add some extra virgin Greek olive oil because I want to cover the spaghetti with olive oil. And this way, I will prevent spaghetti to stick together. So that's why the first thing I have to do is to make sure that this lovely olive oil will go everywhere. Now, the next thing that I'm about to do is to add some tomato. Here I have two cans of tomato, but if you want, you can use fresh tomato instead. You will grate them and you will add it into the recipe. But if I add tomatoes from can, then by just adding a little bit of sugar, I will make sure that the tomatoes will be 100% perfect, okay? Yes. And the next thing I'm about to do is to add a little bit of flavor into my tomato sauce. So, I need some garlic. Here I have two blocks of garlic. And I will slice them. Now, if you are not a fan of garlic, just don't add it. But garlic, it's so tasty. And in these recipes, it's very classic. You have to add some garlic. I need some oregano. Of course, if you have some fresh basil and you want to add fresh basil, you can do it. But for me, it's easier to add some dry oregano. It's staple, you have it into the board, so just use it. So, oregano, garlic, and as I told you, a little bit of sugar. It's something that we want to make a perfect tomato sauce. Now, I need some seasoning, salt, pepper, and at this point, there is no sauce, right, like this? But if I add a little bit of water, then the sauce is ready, okay? Now, I will mix everything together. I will make sure that the garlic will go everywhere, the oregano will go everywhere, the spaghetti will spread evenly. And now, because we are making a spaghetti with meatballs, we have to add the meatballs. But before of that, I will add some extra tomatoes, fresh tomatoes, into my sauce. I have some cherry tomatoes here. And as you can see, I will cut them in half. If they are big, you can cut them in three pieces. Doesn't matter. And this way, everybody will think that the tomatoes you use to make the tomato sauce are actually fresh, okay? This is a trick for your customers or your friends that come in to enjoy this lovely dish into your house. Now, it's time for the meatballs. I will chop, chop my parsley, okay? I need some fresh parsley for my meatballs. I think this is a lot, so the half of it, I will put it into my sauce, and the other half, I will add it into my ground chicken. And as I told you before, if you have ground uh, beef, or ground pork, you can use it. I want to make some easy meatballs. I don't want to use a lot of ingredients. That's why I will add some breadcrumbs here, some parmigiano, and of course, some salt, pepper, and extra virgin, my friend, like this. Because extra virgin is always necessary for every recipe. And I will mix and mix everything together. Now, make sure that everything combines to perfection because we want olive oil, because we want parmesan, because we want salt and pepper. It's a simple recipe and we want everything to blend in perfection. Now, I will shape my meatballs. The size depends on your taste. If you want big meatballs, then make them big. If you want them small, make them small. I think this size is quite good because we have also to remember that during cooking, the meatballs will reduce in size. So that's why I will carry on the same way until I finish with all my minced chicken. How long this process will take? Not more than one to two minutes.
and the last one goes in. As you can see, everything is ready for the oven. Now, we have to remember that we have a raw spaghetti inside and we have to cook it through. That's why we need to steam the whole thing. And I need some aluminum foil. I will cover everything with aluminum foil. In this way, the water will absorb by the spaghetti. It's very important to cover it because the amount of the water in the spaghetti that I gave you in this recipe is exactly what you need. If you add more water, then probably the sauce will be thinner. If you add less water, it will not be enough to cook the spaghetti. So make sure the amounts of all ingredients are exactly what I'm giving to you. You can find the details of the recipe to axpetajigs.com, my website. And first we have to bake this lovely bad boy for about 40 minutes. And after 40 minutes, we will uncover and carry on cooking until it's golden brown on top. For how long? Not more than one hour, okay? My oven is preheated to 220 degrees Celsius. And let's begin the part, my friend, like this, because in less than one hour, we are about to serve. And my food is ready. This is lovely. If I tell you that this dish is ready in under one hour and with this kind of effort, nobody will believe it. Because actually, as you can see, the spaghetti are individual. They're not stick together. We didn't stir any time inside the oven. This is in autopilot ready and it's time to serve, okay? And it's something that everybody can do. Now, I need my spaghetti here, as you can see. The amount of the water and the olive oil and everything that I gave you into this recipe is exactly that you have to do. And I have some lovely meatballs on top. Uh, how many meatballs for a portion like this? Four. Four. You are stingy. What do you mean, seven? Well, I think a Greek portion is about six to seven. But anyway, I know that five meatballs are quite good per person. And of course, we have some lovely pasta. We need some freshly ground pepper on top. It's mouth-watering. And I need some parsley on top. Of course, if you have some basil, you will add some basil, but parsley is it's easier to find it. That's why I'm using parsley. And of course, some freshly ground parmesan on top. And this is it. This, my friends, called perfection because it is an easy recipe, a cheap recipe, now, I want to taste a little bit, but I know that it's perfect. Tomato, meatballs, spaghetti, parmesan, nothing can go wrong. And... Amazing. Lovely. I need some more, because I need to try a little bit of meatball also. Juicy, full of taste crispy on the top. It's exactly what we want for this recipe. If you want to make this recipe, just follow the instructions in my website. Don't forget to follow in social media, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, Viber and TikTok. Make comments under in the video and share this lovely recipe with your friends. See you next time, guys. Bye bye, yasas. And Make It Easy is here to make your life easier.